Hello and welcome back to Mac at the Movies. Uh, today I almost didn't get a review made. Uh, I've had a very busy week, very busy weekend so far, but I was able to just out uh, enough time to check out a flick and jot down a couple of notes. So today I'm going to review for you the 2021 mystery comedy, Happily. Uh, this film was released by Saban Films and Electric Dynamite and was directed by Ben David Grabinski. Two first names. Don't really know anything else he's done. Uh, when I was looking up his filmography, uh, I think there was like two short films outside of this one, so I think this is his first full-length feature film, and uh, it was uh, produced by Jack Black. Uh, this film stars Joel McHale as Tom, and Carrie Bashi as Janet. Uh, this film also stars uh, a few other familiar faces uh, uh, that I noticed that I wanted to, to share with you. So we have uh, Charlene E., Natalie Morales, uh, Brecken Myers, uh, Stephen Root, and Paul Shear. Uh, so like I said, this is like a comedy mystery and it is about a married couple, uh, Tom and Janet, who have been happily married for 14 years. Uh, and throughout this entire time, they've managed to keep that like honeymoon phase of of dating, that like first found fresh love. And um, everyone else, all their friends, like resent them for it. And they hate that they manage to keep this going for so long and they think that it's some sort of like facade almost. Um, uh, they were invited to a friend's party at a getaway house and then invited later to a dinner to be told that they weren't wanted there. So it, it was kind of an interesting thing to see that all their friends hated them until all of a sudden they were reinvited to the party. Um, prior to the invitation, uh, however, uh, they were met by a mysterious man, Stephen Root, his character, and he enters into their life and sort of starts to twist things around. Um, this is when the movie starts to take a different turn and you don't know which way it's going to go. Uh, you know, they start talking about the law of diminishing returns in relationships and how nothing can stay fresh forever. And eventually you're going to get, you know, tired and just the flame's going to peter out. Uh, they discuss that and how it's supposed to be the inevitable happening in any and every relationship and that everyone should ideally follow this formula of being happy until they're not anymore and then they end to look for something else to be happy about. Um, I, I do think that this follows, uh, that you see later in the film, that it, follow, it, you know, it sort of shows us the folly of people and, you know, how we make mistakes and what those mistakes are. Um, and that through just open communication and, you know, just looking at doing the right thing could possibly change that. But just how open communication just all around can be a good thing. So uh, I, I think it was something that you don't see in a lot of the relationships in this film, uh, with the exception of Tom and Janet. And uh, that kind of creates this weird dynamic uh, at this party later. And then you start to find out uh, things aren't as they appear. And you know, it's, a, it's a very interesting, interesting film. Um, the man who, uh, presents them, uh, presents himself to, uh, Tom and Janet early in the film, uh, he, it, it was very, very odd. Uh, he presents them, uh, as you see in the trailer, uh, with two injections saying that there's something wrong and these injections will fix them, but Tom and Janet don't see that anything's wrong with what's going on with their relationship with themselves. And so they sort of dismiss him in, in a way that you see uh, in the trailer. Uh, so I don't think I'm spoiling anything, but uh, Janet hits him over the head with something and knocks him out. And 
uh, through the fear, they kind of rustle up and try to come up with a plan to save themselves and then see what's kind of happening. You know, later in the film, you see a, a few uh, reoccurring things that don't don't really make sense. But in the end, you kind of get the full picture. Uh, all in all, it was a decent film. Uh, I, I want to say I would definitely revisit it, uh, maybe later down the line, probably not anytime soon. Um, I, I give it a, a two out of five stars. I mean, it's good, um, but I do feel that more explaining or I, I feel like it was lacking something may, maybe more behind the scenes story of why something got done. Uh, Stephen Root's character, we, we don't really find out who he is. Uh, we just see that he finds himself in the presence of a few of the characters' lives and it, I, you don't, it doesn't make sense. So, um, you know, there, there are some good moments in the film uh, that keep you intrigued, that'll make you laugh or just one thing or another, but all in all, it's it's an all right film. Um, but don't let that deter you. Uh, go check it out, uh, if especially if you're a big fan of uh, Joel McHale. He's uh, sort of the big actor of this film. I guess he has the top billing. Um, but yeah, definitely check it out. Uh, give it two stars. Uh, anyways, if you like this review, give it a thumbs up. Uh, jot down a comment in the description below and uh, let me know, have you seen this film? Uh, what did you think of it? Have you not seen it? Do you want to see it? Did you even know it existed? So jot that down in the comments below. And as always, be good to one another and I will see you next time. Bye.